Hi and welcome. Today I'm on the land and it has been a long while and we did a few videos but we deleted them because the quality wasn't that great. So I thought we'll do it again because uh, at least I got something to show you guys. Um, as you can see we built a shade house. It's very cheap. Probably cost around $500 to build this gigantic shade house. So this shade house is roughly um, 40 meters by 10 around there or 12 or 15, I can't remember exactly. So I'm just doing approximate. Um, the reason why we're building a shade house is because in the summertime it gets really, really hot here. Like, and the sun is really intense. And these type of trees does not like to be out in the sun. Well, they're a tropical tree, but they don't like the intense heat and it burns the leaves so that's the very reason why we are building the shade house and the other reason is that they're very expensive tree and I would like to shelter them and I want them to grow in the best condition possible and uh, over time as they get a little bit older definitely we will remove the shade house and let them grow out in the open um, I'm doing a lot of mulching simply because I only go here either once or twice a week maximum much of the time it's left to its own device to fend for itself because it's a fair distance from where we live um, to get to the land like around an hour and a half drive and yeah I just like to showcase so this tree right here is actually a nim tree and if you do research you find a lot of um, natural healing the oil is good I think that from the leaf the oil from the nuts is very good as well for your skin Altogether is a very good tree and is very well known in traditional Indian medicine. So this tree right here is called a hawk plum tree. Um, I don't know what other uh, name for it is there, but it's difficult to pronounce. So I'll put it on the screen later. Um, I grow a lot of these star apple, star apple tree. No, star apple fruit tree. And basically the reason why they're called star apple is because when you cut them in half um, you can see a, a star like shape in the middle in the center. This tree right here it's a, I would say close to a cousin of the custard apple tree the Rollini um, tree and they produce a fruit that is similar to a custard apple but way way bigger like as big as a toddler's head. I've never eaten one of these before so I can't say how good it would taste but I thought we'd just grow one anyway because it's fun and we like variety. We like integration. It has yellow fruit and it, I think it's a sour type of fruit. I can't remember what it tastes like but I know in, in Vietnam we have these growing and as a child my parents that's like they, they did say to me that I had them before but I just don't remember what they taste like. This tree right here is the uh, sour soap uh, tree and um, in Vietnamese um, it's actually called a custard apple as well but we call it the, the sour custard apple variety and of course what would be a garden without a jackfruit? <laughs> because if you know you're Asian definitely I mean not all Asian knows of jackfruit if you grow in the Western world but um, jackfruit is a very common fruit in Vietnam and in the southeast um, Asian part of the world and also in America as well South American the tropical area and we have three of these growing and the reason why we tie rocks on them is we try to train the, the, the branch to um, grow downwards rather than all the way up and um, yes these are advanced tree and that's what we have growing in the shade house and a lot more outside